So we have these panels hooked up um, independently because this unit cannot charge 200 watt, 200 watts together, but connected with a 5.1 plug in the back here. Um, independently, they can be plugged into this unit through the DC input, one panel, and the other panel through the USB-C. Okay, so this can handle 100 watts, this can handle 100 watts, and together they're pulling 137 watts with the sun today. Alright, so I got it hooked up to my VTO Man Flash Speed 1500, and it's charging at about 115 watts through the 12 volt plug. Alright, so it's got the pass through technology. Let me even plug the charging for the Vitamin. And so 137 watts that's pulling in from the sun. It's at 51%, and it says it has 47 minutes till it's fully charged. That is pretty impressive. 47 minutes, two panels. And let's see, um, we're going to test unplugging one panel through the DC charging port. That's through the dedicated charge port for the AC. And it's pulling about 50, it hasn't even warmed up today, 50 watts on that that panel. And let's unplug that one. And about yeah, a little more on the other panel. It's, it's got that. That larger plug is what I'm assuming. Okay, that's at 86 combined. We'll bring it in roughly about 130 watts. Okay, so we're gonna do some further testing on this. Um, if you want to know if it runs the CPAP just offhand, it does. It does run your, my CPAP on um, for about eight hours and I have an AirSense 10 and it runs that for eight hours with the, uh, the unit on airplane mode um, it has the heat tube off the climate control on one and if I put the climate control on zero this unit will charge it will run it for two two full days but if you put the climate control on one then it'll run it for eight hours so it will do it I'm so impressed with this little unit so far. If you have any uh, any videos you want me to run on this thing for testing, let me know. I am so impressed with this thing so far. Nice.